Utah Utes season prediction here on the I-80 boys. Christian, we're going to talk a little offense here. I'll get it kicked off. Uh, last year, 8-5, and five, not a bad year for Utah. Probably not um, as high expectations as they expected, but 5-4 uh, and four in conference. We know they lost Northwestern in the bowl game last year. There was no Cam Rising, right? Um, they get him back this year. Hopefully he's fully healthy once. I swear the guy's been playing college football now for about 10 years, but uh, – you know, they, they struggled last year in offense. I, I don't know even know what they finished last year. I believe it was like in the bottom third, right around 100, 101 last year in total offense with 23.2 points per game. But, uh, yeah, getting Cam Rising back, they get both running backs back, which will be good. Um, they did pick up a couple of offensive linemen in this year's recruiting class. Transfer portal, they finished about 35th, which actually isn't too bad for Utah either. Um, I, 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 I'm going to say this offense is going to be a lot better, much more improved than last year with the two quarterback combo they had last year. Um, the big thing is though, Christian, we, we talked about it, Kyle Whittingham, right? I mean, this guy, we know he focuses on the defensive side of the ball, but offensively, they're going to have to pick it up a little bit this year. They moved over to the big 12. We talked about it a lot here. Big 12 likes to score a lot of points. I think Utah is going to have to keep up with that. And I think they will with Cam Rising this year. I really do. If you guys haven't watched this kid play, he's a tough kid. He's a leader. He's a winner. Um, but uh, I'll kick it over to the defense here for you, Christian, and tell me about the Utes. Yeah, Chris. So, I mean, Utah's defense ranked 13th last year in terms of total defense. And, you know, you touched on it. A big reason why Utah is always so good is they keep coaches, right? Is their defensive coordinator has been there for 17 years, but he's actually been the defensive coordinator there for nine years. Okay. But he's been there for 17 years total. So is Kyle Whittingham, right? He's been there for a hot minute. You know, they get back 70% of their defensive starters from last year, which is awesome. Um, the defense could be led by linebacker Kareen Reed, who had 67 tackles, four pass deflections, and one interception last year, right? They do lose Jonah Ellis to the NFL as he had 12 sacks last year, so that's going to hurt him. But they do get back Connor O'Toole, O'Toole, who had four and a half sacks last year, and the D-line is also getting back a unit that can get to the quarterback, right? They combined for 16 sacks last year as far as what they've got coming back in production. Right? I like this front seven in the Big 12. They should feast like me on a Saturday morning right? at an all-you-can-eat buffet. The secondary should be good as well. They do have you know, they do have to replace two NFL-caliber safeties, but Nate Ritchie and Teo Johnson uh, should be up to that task there. Cornerback Zamai, Zamai Vaughn will look to build on a 53-tackle, six-pass deflection, and one interception season that he had last year. Also look for Georgia Tech transfer Keenan Johnson to step up at that other spot there as far as cornerback is concerned. Look, Chris, I'll make it very simple. This defense should be every bit as good as they have been the last few years, and I think moving to the Big 12 will do them some wonders. All right, transitioning here to their record prediction, Chris, I'll go ahead and lead us off. I got them going 11-1. All right, the only loss in the regular season comes on the road early enough in the year at Oklahoma State. Look, I think it's hard to bet against Kyle Whittingham, and there's a lot to like for the Utes in their inaugural Big 12 season. Um, it may not, you know, maybe they beat Oklahoma State, but they might get tripped up somewhere in this weird Big 12 season for them. What's your thoughts, Chris? You know what? We agree. Um, I, I, I figured we probably would. I think a lot of people are high on Utah this year. Um, if you guys don't follow my um, video I released last week, I had talked about Utah and taking the nine and a half wins and going over this year. I almost, I hate to say that there's no such thing as a lock, but I just don't see where they're going to lose many games this year. Um, you know, maybe they get tripped up a game, like you said. I, I actually have wrote down, it may be Oklahoma State on the road early. Maybe they do win that game. Maybe they turn around and lose to maybe a Central Florida at the end of the year on the road. I mean, it is the Big 12, but I'm with you, Christian. I have them going 10 and 2. 